Hello YouTube, Dr. Solar. So, it's been a while I talked to you about my Solar X Power Inverter. And the reason is because I don't really have much to report back. Well, I do have something to report back to you. So, let's visit. Um, the last time I made a video on Solar X, we had done a firmware update. And the firmware update was supposed to resolve another issue I had on Christmas Day. If you recall, on Christmas Day, the power had gone out. And when the power went out, I did not have any... Um, well, the power went out before on the 24th, on Christmas Eve. And then when I had solar, when the sun came out, the batteries were not charging. The inverter wouldn't come on, it just remained dead. Uh, the screen was lit. But there was no production. It's, you see where it says EPS? It kept saying EPS waiting. I got a firmware, uh, they updated the firmware, and the firmware would wake it up. I think what had happened, let me give you my own um, theory. What had happened was um, we set a cutoff at 10%. I'm not sure they believed we'll get 10%. And then the battery discharged all the way to 8%. So when the sun came up, um, whatever logic they programmed into it said, um, don't come on. So it didn't come on. So they rushed the firmware update to me, which I pushed through. I'm, if I, I'm sure I told you how I did the firmware update. I get a thumb drive or a flash drive. I stick it into an orifice in there. And then the inverter recognizes it and asks me, it just automatically sees it and the screen changes to recognize that I'm about to do a firmware update. And then he asks me firmware update, yes, no, I select yes. Then he asks me to select the firmware that I want to update. I select that, um, but um, firmware update is done. The inverter will power off. And then once it powers off, it comes back on it. It comes back on again after the firmware update is done. The reason why we chose to do a manual firmware update is because um, here our, our Wi-Fi does not have a UPS. So if during the firmware update it loses connection with the internet, we're in trouble. So to avert that, we are doing manual firmware update. So that firmware update was done and it worked fine. Uh, for a few days, we didn't have any issues. Then guess what? We get to 100%. And once we got to 100%, the lights went up. The lights went out. Um, this has a switch in it. It has a relay switch in it. So what happens is, when it turns off, you hear that loud snapping sound. And then when it comes on, it snaps again. And it kept going off and on, off and on, off and on. So I spoke to my guys at SolarX again. And they spoke to their R&D folks. And the R&D folks gave me um, new firmware. And I put that new firmware up, um, how many days ago? A few days ago. So what was happening before was that once the battery got 100%, the system would power down for 30 seconds and then restart. Uh, that was an inconvenience and that was a pain. I don't know what the logic behind having a power down for 30 seconds was, but that's what was happening. And I was creating some pain for me because when my internet restarts, it takes more than a day. It takes hours for it to connect again. I have to keep turning it off on, turning it off on, turning it off on until eventually it connects with the base station that I'm connected to. But the excuses means they'll be going soon. I just needed to store them here. So that's preventing me from giving you a proper view of this. So they gave me a new firmware. I put up the firmware, and now the system doesn't go off and on anymore. Um, what it does now is it charges to 98% and it goes into float. So I believe you will see the batteries, the way they flash now, that's float. If you are charging, the first three will be on and the last one will be flashing. When it's full and in flow, that's what it does. 
So I've spoken to the guys at Solar X to tell them, look, um, it gets to 98% and goes into float. Um, it's working fine. It's no longer going off and it's no longer going off and on. It's staying on all the way through. What's the way forward? They said, oh, we talked around the day. I said, you know what, just leave it alone. It's working fine. Uh, one thing, well, I don't know if it's because it's cooler nights, or is it nights are cooler, or because now I run my fan with my AC, we're waking up to an SOC of about 70%, 60%, which for me is just mind boggling. Uh, the freezer, the fridge is on 24 hours a day. That fridge is on 24 hours a day. And this freezer is on 24 hours a day. The AC upstairs, that's the one in my room, is a one, one horsepower inverter AC. Uh, we keep it anywhere between 26 and 27 degrees F. Sorry, sorry, C. F is freezing. 26 and 27 degrees uh, C. And then we have a fan, move the air around. And you know what? The room temperature is pretty comfortable. We still have to be under covers. And the um, power consumption has dropped. So I'm not sure if it's the fan that's responsible for me seeing a 70% state of charge in the morning or if it is that the batteries are just showing me suddenly much more capacity. I don't think that's true. So um, I don't really have anything to say other than it's doing what it's supposed to do. It does not make any sounds. Um, you'd asked me to load it, so I've run two ACs at the same time with my microwave and the hot plate. So let me see if I can show you the electric hot plate. So I run two ACs and this hot plate. We no longer cook with gas. We cook now exclusively, you can see. We cook now exclusively with electricity. Uh, gas is very expensive, even though we have gas. Gas is very expensive. Anyway, it was expensive. I'm sure the pricing has come down. And we just now cook with electricity. So, air fryer, microwave, um, the hot, well, the hot plates. That's what we basically use to cook here. So, Solax has done well. Um, I have no complaints. In fact, we'll be installing a second unit this week and hopefully a third in about two weeks from now. And that'll be a three phase. We have a, sorry, that'll be a three phase. We currently have a three phase, three three phase units installed in Abuja through a client. He purchased them from me and he's running leather seat batteries and he likes them. Uh, his biggest challenge is the fact that you cannot run individual battery, you cannot run one single battery bank for all three inverters. That's his only complaint. So if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you're yet to subscribe, click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.